Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, it's Sam or Sumito. I just realized that I was recording this video or I thought I was recording this video and I wasn't and I just spent 10 minutes yelling in the microphone about really good points and getting really passionate and then I wasn't recording so GG's. Alright, so today I want to be talking about the Storm Rising event and first off I want to say um, at least for me, I was really disappointed in this event because Archives is the one event where everyone in the Overwatch community, whether you're a Bridget One Trick or a Genji main, where people that normally would not get along that see different eyes or, or, or see the game from a different perspective, right? Casual players and, and really competitive players. This is the one event, Archives, that everyone rallies to and, and expects Blizzard to knock it out of the water. This is the one event that we all know and love and, and we just want to see succeed that we're all super excited for and it, it was just a major letdown. I'm going to talk about why in this video and what Blizzard needs to do to improve it. So first off, before we get into, you know, talking about what I thought was bad, I'm going to talk about what I think was good. You know, the classic Blizzard polish, right? If there's anything that Blizzard does right, it's make a game or an event look hype, look beautiful. There is not a studio better in the world than Blizzard Entertainment than making a game look great, which is why it's called the Blizzard Polish. As usual, the skins were great, the highlight intros were great, the hype, the trailers were great. It's just one consistent thing that Blizzard is lacking throughout its game the past year that has really frustrated a lot of people, and that, you know, as game designers, you'd think would be the number one priority, but a Apparently it's not, and that is the actual gameplay. It doesn't matter how polished a game is, if the gameplay is bad, no one is going to play it or not, and they aren't going to enjoy it. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about, first of all, the previous archives modes, and why they were so successful, and why everybody loved this event so much, and then why, because those were so good, that this one was just a major letdown. So let's talk a little bit about Uprising in 2016. It was the first big event with a new PvE game mode that actually brought the lore of the story into it, where, you know, uh, no, the Null Sector Omnic terrorists were attacking and occupying King's Row, and Tracer, Reinhardt, uh, who else? Torb, was it, was it Torb? I, I forget the exact characters, but they all had to go and, and stop this, this Omnic terrorist group from occupying King's Row in a unique gameplay mission that introduced new enemies with new mechanics to the universe of Overwatch and allowed us to further expand upon the game that we all fell in love with, playing the characters that we fell in love with, and having them take on a challenge that, you know, brought them all together, that shaped the universe of this game. It's In, it's, in essence, it was a unique spin on a campaign game mode with, you know, a, an amazing unique PvE game mode like Call of Duty Zombies that we all love to see with Junketstein's Revenge for uh, appearance in early 2016. So one thing that everyone loves about the Archives game mode is that's the, it's the one event that is not recycled, right? You know, we've had Junkenstein's Revenge the past two, three years, three years now. Or no, no, two years now for Halloween. And people were kind of upset. They were like, man, you, you could have done something a little bit different, Blizzard. You know, the Sim rework came in, so I guess Sim was different with her wall or whatever. But, you know, ultimately nothing really changed. It was just the same mode, same enemies, Blah, blah, blah. And people got kind of sick of it over the past few years. They're really expecting Blizzard to actually put in the effort and do something new. But with Archives, that's the one event that does get something new. On top of that, has an amazing storyline behind it that's not kind of like cheesy like Junkenstein's Revenge. It's seriously the backstory of Overwatch, the game that all of us, whether we're Bridget players, Hanzo players, Genji players, no matter where we saw the game, if we didn't see eye to eye, we could all universally agree that this is the game that we fell in love with, so we were really happy to play the Archives mission and, and get into the, the world of Overwatch and truly explore what we loved about this game. And Archives is the place to do that, right? So the gameplay of Archives was unique and different every year. Like I said, the first year we had the Omnics of Null Sector, and then the second year, which is by far the best Overwatch event to ever come out, being Overwatch Retribution. Not only did we get to see into the dark side of Overwatch, Blackwatch, and saw a new take on our favorite heroes, we got to see the downfall of Reaper, who we now know to be working with Talon, but we first saw, that was when we first got to see the operatives of Talon and all the troopers of Talon, and we got to fight unique, like, 
people, enemies that we had never seen before in the universe of Overwatch. The gameplay itself was unique and different, and we finally got to play something new for the first time, expanding upon the universe that we love, which is Overwatch, right? We were introduced to five different types of enemies in a long new map as well in Rialto, Italy. We felt the pressure of Gabriel shooting that dirty whatever merchant mafia guy or whatever and we felt the consequences you could feel the sense of urgency in the game like you know it was a, it was an it was an escape route like you, you really felt like the characters lives were on the line you were being attacked by you know thousands of of talent agents trying to swarm you down and it was a rush you know you're trying to get to the heli helipads you didn't know these new types of enemies with you know i can tell you what when the first snipers showed up and they were auto aiming onto you and then the first assassin showed up you were like how the heck am i gonna beat this and there was a ton of strategy and then the heavy came in and you were struggling to get past him he was difficult he was it was a rewarding feeling of gameplay to actually go up against these new types of enemies that we've never seen before in a game that's usually player versus player where you're playing against the other heroes to play against these new types of environmental risks, right? And that that rush and that, that feel of new gameplay and the engine that we love being Overwatch was something that we all fell in love with. And it was the, it was the you know, the, the, the figurehead of the game. It was the staple of the game. We loved to play it. And this was the one event out of every event that got something new and unique the past two years while everything else was just recycled. This was something we could look forward to that truly was the, the campaign of Overwatch, the unique aspect of Overwatch that we could all expand on and love. And in my eyes, that's why that event did so well. They did everything right. The story was amazing. The new features of gameplay were amazing. They put in the effort and were rewarded for it, as they should have been. They deserve every bit of credit for how good Retribution was. But this year, uh, just, you know, kind of like the rest of the game, just a major letdown. You know, with all the hype that, you know, Havana, Cuba was getting and all the lore updates were coming out, we, uh, we were all expecting something on the scale of Retribution, which I guess is kind of hard to live up to, but... You know, we didn't get any new gameplay, you know, and as a game design studio, you think the first thing that would come to their mind is, wow, how are we going to make this gameplay live up to the expectations of our community? How are we going to do something new that's going to blow them out of the water? Then they take the same five enemies from last year and just put them on a new map. It really just was a shorter, trimmed down version of Retribution, just with different characters that you can play on a different map with a different story, okay? They get the lore right every time, and the skins right, and the hype right, and the trailers right every time. The one thing that Blizzard seems to be lacking with their game is the actual gameplay experience, which you think would be the first priority when it comes to a, an A-list game studio that can make a, a better looking game than anyone else. You think the first thing they would say is, hey guys, is this gameplay gonna be fun and interactive and actually unique and new? And the answer to that is no. And you know what? If you want to recycle some of the things from last year, that's fine. But you know what? The most successful games in the world do is they build off of what they did right last year. That they you did it perfectly last year. So why is it that you're telling me you couldn't add a single new enemy to the actual game this year? They didn't actually add any new enemies. It was the same Talon goons as last year. So it really just feels like Blizzard is looking for a lazy way to make this. They copped out again, like they have been with Ranked for the past year, like they have been with the casual game modes for the past year. And, you know, I I, I stream this game every, like, Monday through Friday, guys. Like, I, I really do want to believe in Blizzard. I've put all my chips in this game. I, you know, a lot of people that you know, like, who used to do Overwatch content, haven't sold out and gone to Fortnite and Apex, but, you know, they've, they they kind of go from game to game as creators, which is totally fine. That's that's fine by me, but, you know, a lot of us have stuck by Overwatch thick and thin and truly love this game and want to see it be the best game in the world. You know, I, I truly do want to see this game succeed and be the best game in the world, but, you know, when you're advertising trailers of the game... Uh, being in a you know a high speed chase, you see Tracer on a motorcycle chasing these people down, and this is going to be the event that brings everyone back to the game. And then you get into the game; it's supposed to be in this giant hurricane, and you know there's a little bit of wind and rain and clouds. It doesn't really cover your screen; it's not overwhelming. And then the high speed chase ends up being you pushing a payload, some trodden down old Cuban vehicle, like one meter a second while you know a couple dozen talent troops from last year jump on you it's not actually anything new at all it's just the same recycled crap and listen last year it was good but you need to at least build on it blizzard 
Like, you guys are so damn good at your jobs. I refuse to believe that this is the best that you guys can do. And I think that's why I am so upset, is that we've seen Blizzard at their finest. We've seen Blizzard at their best. And at least for Overwatch the past year, it hasn't been even close to their best. Because we know what these guys are capable of. It's kind of like me in high school, like I said. Not really trying my best. Could get a B or could get an A, but happy with Bs and Cs. In this case, a D. It'd be like I, I, I grabbed my last paper from last year, you know, changed like a couple of the main points and then just didn't change any of the actual words and just turned it in as a new paper. You'd get a failing grade from your teacher. And that's essentially what Blizzard did this year. They just grabbed everything they got last year, designed a new map, Put a little bit of a store mechanic on there and then they assumed that that was good enough to put to live as the big archives event the one event that everyone in the community regardless of what their stance is on the game can come to and have a good time regardless this is the one time that we can forget about our differences in overwatch forget about what we can argue about in ranked and just have a great time together everyone and just love the experience and be glad that we chose overwatch as our game you know this is the game that we fell in love with and, you know, it's just the same thing as last year with nothing new. The only thing they changed, which is, uh, spoiler alert, skip ahead like 10 seconds if you don't want to hear this, but the only thing they did is introduce a new hero in the in the cutscene. A potential new hero in the cutscene with Doomfist at the end. Maximilian, there wasn't even a final boss fight. There was just a bunch of goons running at you with absolutely zero sense of urgency and supposedly this giant hurricane's coming in and everyone's got to be careful. There was no rush. There was no storm. It wasn't crazy. It was just like... There was a little bit of, you know, clouds. It looked like a rainy spring day here in Kentucky. Like, I, I just don't understand it. It just seems like Blizzard were like, yeah, let's just do enough to get by and not actually get a passing grade. Like, uh, I don't know. They, they, they really haven't earned the respect of the community with all the work they've been putting in. And maybe it's because they're putting it into somewhere else. Maybe they're busy with Overwatch League. I personally just refuse to believe that this is the best Blizzard can do and that maybe they're dedicating their resources somewhere else, which I, on oh God, you know, we can, is, is the glass half empty or half full, right? If Blizzard did not put as much effort into this, maybe in, in an off chance they are going to drop like a bunch of heroes. I saw Fenner tweet out that they might drop a bunch of heroes or something like I personally am expecting something big to make up for this crap. I'm going to be honest with you. This was the biggest letdown I have ever seen from Overwatch. Um, you know, we've dealt with the GOATS meta and rank. We've dealt with Bridget, you know, destroying all the fun characters to play in the game simply by existing rather than counterplaying them. And again, I'm not going to get into game balance in this video because that's not the point of this video. We're supposed to talk about archives. But, you know, as you guys know, there's been a ton of criticism towards Blizzard and the Overwatch team for, you know, not stepping up to the plate and helping any sides of the community, whether it be the competitive side or the casual side. But to all the casual players out there who really bank on the game, this was your version of GOATS. This was your version of Bridget ruining your game this was the biggest letdown that the casual overwatch community has ever had to go through the same recycled crap on the one event that we could bank on blizzard knocking it out of the ballpark for the past two years and it just breaks my heart to see that if i were blizzard what i would have done if you really wanted to use the same town operatives is that's fine but tweak them give them new mechanics add one or two new ones right don't do the exact same thing over and over again. You're just neglecting your gameplay. The gameplay is the most important part about a video game. And as a game design company, surely you guys understand this. And that begs the question, if you understand why the game, why the actual gameplay and game mechanics are the most important part of the game, because it doesn't matter how pretty the game is. If the game plays poorly, no one's going to want to play it, right? If the gameplay is the most important part, why is it being neglected every year? Or not every year, this year. Why is ranked being ignored? Why is all the crucial parts of Overwatch being ignored? Is Overwatch 2 coming out? Are you like what, what are you guys like trying to do? And that's why this was a letdown in my eyes. The gameplay was the same. All we got were a couple new skins in the one event that we could always bank on being freaking amazing. And I'm sorry, I I just cannot get behind this. You know, many of us put our heart and souls into this game, and for those of us who still were hanging on, telling the haters that hated on Blizzard, no, there's no, the game's gonna be good. This is still a great game. Just wait till archives. Like this was the event that was hyped up that was supposed to bring people back. And the best that you can show them after hyping up Tracer on a motorcycle, hyping up a hurricane hitting Havana, the best that you can show them is last year's game mode cycled on with a new skin. It honestly reminds me of like 
Kitchen Nightmares, where a restaurant claims their food is fresh when it's really frozen and Gordon Ramsay absolutely roasts them. Like, this is what that was to me. You took last year's frozen food and you put a new skin on it, put it in the microwave, let it defrost, and you called it a new game mode with a hero announcement at the end or a hero teaser at the end. And to me, that's 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 just that's just kind of pathetic, Blizzard. Like, you guys are so much better than that. And that's why this is frustrating. You have people banking on you. People saying, don't worry, Blizzard is going to come through. Starting with Archives is going to be the big trend. And even I said that. I believe this was the turning point of the game. I thought that Storm Rising was going to be on the level of Uprising and... And, uh, re and Retribution. This was going to be the thing that Blizzard knocks out of the park because Blizzard always knocks this out of the park. And then there was nothing good. It was a third of the length. It was uh, like half of the map size. It was absolutely no new enemies. The storm was underwhelming. All of it was underwhelming. The only thing that you guys did really well were the skins, which you guys always do well and you deserve credit for it. But this was a major letdown to the community and I find this heartbreaking as these people bank on everything they they say that they believe in you and they want this game to succeed this is the one event every year that everyone always counts on to be great and then you put minimal effort into it you just reskinned last year's like I feel like you guys put 70% effort into this and to me that's that's just absolutely heartbreaking knowing how much talent is at Blizzard Entertainment's team and just as someone who plays this game every day, it just breaks my heart. So that's going to do it for me. My, my main advice to Blizzard next year is to please focus on making new gameplay. That's what we love so much about Archives. And what the most crucial part of Archives is, is that the gameplay is great. It's fresh. It's new. It's a new spin with new enemies every year with our favorite Overwatch characters with amazing lore and an amazing story. It's Overwatch campaign mixed with Nazi zombies and a, and a PvE. Um, it, it's just what we love to do. And it's it's something that the community can rally behind. And next year, I really, really hope you guys actually bring some new gameplay and new enemies to the table rather than just recycle the same stuff in the one event that everyone can bank on that is going to be something new and great. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. So uh, leave your comments down below about what you guys thought about you know the game and and how it can take a better direction with you know uh, archives. What did you guys think of the game? Like, did you guys think of something different than me? Did you all like it? Personally, like I get like the gameplay wasn't bad. It just was old. Like it just was. It was extremely underwhelming for a really hyped up event. And I I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, hopefully, we'll see a bunch of hero drops in the next couple weeks because of this letdown and maybe. This will be the turning point for the game. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really concerned that Blizzard is not doing anything or there's something else going on or maybe they put all their resources into Overwatch League and they're neglecting the actual foundation. I don't know. I I, um, I still believe in Blizzard, though, and I, uh, I truly, truly hope that this game can go in the right direction. So that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please leave some feedback down below. Catch you guys later. Much love. Peace out.